morning from Caton Bay. We're back on the camera. We're fully charged now, ready for the day ahead. Today's gonna to be the first busy day, full day on the park. We've got three activities booked and we're gonna try and squeeze in some swimming as well, just a general swim. So we're on our way to one now, which is a milkshake morning. It's about 25 past nine. So still early, but roasting. So all day on the park today. I'm probably quite a few beers. Say is I want to apologize for the stop start of this video. It's very difficult to make a video with three kids, especially two that are six weeks old. Um, so as you can tell, I'm now in the car. I was two minutes ago watching a show, and now I'm in the car. Reason four, I'm gonna head. Ooh, yeah, I don't know, that's Hogwarts back back on. Um, reason four, we want to go swimming. They have a general swim here now. Covid's over, so you can just turn up and go swimming. You don't have to book sessions, which is quite good. Um, so. We've got swimming stuff for all of us, other than the twins. We had no real intention of taking them swimming because we didn't know how they would deal with the water. And if you've got two screaming six week olds and one three year old that doesn't want to get out of the pool, that leaves one of you to deal with all the issues. But we're gonna gamble, we're gonna risk it. So I'm currently on my way into Scarborough and, oh, I just hit the center. Some woman in front of me has just dropped something. So anyway, into Scarborough. Hopefully find something that I can put these two in uh, to go swimming because we haven't brought any swimming costumes or anything. We don't actually own them. So we're going to try and find something. The weather's nice enough that we think we'll enjoy the pool and it'll still be nice and warm for them. So heading to Scarborough, hopefully find something they can go swimming in. I've left the camera with Steph. Hopefully she's going to get some shots of um, the character meet and greet, which Grace is going to go and see in the next hour. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not going to make a miss that because coming to these sort of places, some of the, like, one thing that you want is you want them to meet the characters. So that's what she's doing. Hopefully, Steph gets some nice shots of that and I'll put them in. Uh, but other than that, Scarborough, shopping, rush back. But one thing I'm not complaining too much about is it's dead hot. It's really, really hot. I'm in the car with air conditioning and these two are sleeping, so it's not too bad. But we'll see when I get them out. But yeah. Mental dash, can't plan a thing with three kids. He's got to go with the flow. <laughs> that looked like hard work. That looked like hard work. Yep. Right, come on. Go down slide. So while I'm in Scarborough, I'll tell you, we've never been, right? We've never been to Scarborough, never come this far up. Even though we did go to uh, one of the Haven campsites, which is literally 15 minutes away from here, we never came in. And I regret it. It was just me and Steph at that point as well. We would have an absolute ball around here because the front's incredible. Uh, the city centre, our town centre, looks pretty good as well, to be fair. Very busy, very busy, but the front and the boats and the harbour looks like a place you just want to sit. I'm not gonna lie, drink all day. And I think we missed out of it there, not heading in. That's where I need to be. I need to go to my one. What have you got? What is it? It's a rocket one. A rocket one? Yeah. What does a rocket do? Zoom to the moon. Zoom to the moon? Yeah. <laughs> We're in. How much? Eighteen pound. Oh, two. Two. Jesus. 
Jesus Christ. So there we have it, job done, shopping done. Can't believe I just spent 18 pound on uh, some swimsuits for the babies, but I tell you what, they're best like that water. I suppose the same Grace and Steve for two, ended up getting Gracie something. So, back to the car, had a quick stop at Greg's because I don't think I've eaten this morning and it's about half past 12. So, piece of pizza, bit of a drink, back to the car, head back in time for the show. You did a big high five. Guys. That was good then, wasn't it? Right, you ready? Gather in round. And the big. Okay. So you've got salted caramel. salted caramel bubble waffle. I've gone for the honeycomb. Find me. Honeycomb bubble waffle. And then Gracie's just got the I could make your own ice cream. Oh yeah, and then a couple of pints of Madri. Get off! Stop trying to eat me for the ice cream. So let's eat the ice creams. And then I think we are going to go back to the room. A couple of showers in, a bit of rest, because we've got a busy day. And then go from there. Right, so it might not look much, but this has been my favorite treat of the holiday. And I've drank beer. I drank beer, but this, wow, wow, two for 11 quid, we, th we think the guy got the price wrong, but <laughs> two for 11 quid, yes. It's funny, right, I come to this strip every time I walk out and I think, it's going to be quiet down there, be able to get the camera out, tell you what we're doing. But without fail. Every single time. Right, so while we have our 30 seconds of silence, yes, we went swimming. Uh, the babies did come in with us actually. They're about five minutes each and it started getting a bit too cold. That's sun. Uh, but it was alright, you know, feels decent. Grace had a great time and then we went and had a wander and settled in a bar. I had a pint, and then we got them bubble waffles that you saw, and they were unbelievable. Tonight is straight to the show bar, usual stuff, beer, food, music, dancing. Yeah, that's about it. that there would be the end of night number three. Pretty chilled night and it's actually pretty early to be honest. Uh, but we're all just a bit tired. Babies especially and especially the little one. Uh, it's obviously a lot going on for her. But early night because we've got a busy day tomorrow. We are 11 o'clock. We've got a builder bear. Well, Gracie's got a builder bear. Um, one o'clock. She's in the pool again. She's on some sort of aqua jets or some sort of paddling boat in the pool which will be all right and then at three o'clock we are on the trampolines on the big bungee trampoline so that should be pretty decent 
Our plan is actually to leave early tomorrow. When I say early, I mean about nine o'clock, about this time tomorrow, beat the traffic. We've always believed in no point staying the night just to get up to go home. So we'll do that uh, and well, I'll see you tomorrow. So on today's day of activities, first on the list is Build-A-Bear. So we're back in the activity workshop, let's say. Let's go build some bears. See you, Teddy, what you made? What's her name? Rainbow. Rainbow. Yeah. <laughs> so, Gracie did that, made this Teddy. Called it Rainbow. And everyone wants to know is an outfit is £10 extra, and I already paid £15 to actually do the experience. I mean, Teddy's not small. It's quite a big teddy to be fair, so all in all, not that bad, made it herself, uh, took babies for a wonder while she was doing that. We're just sitting down for some lunch and then it will go in swimming in about an hour's time. Okay, so here we are back home, I'm not going to lie, has been some time since I made that last clip. Uh, reason being, after the teddy bear making, we basically just come home. Uh, I know we had a few activities booked, um, but it, it was that time when everybody was tired and we were, felt like we were just delaying the process of going home. So basically we went back to the lodge, we packed up, we got in the car and we drove straight home. So as we are home, I'll quickly sum up that holiday and that part of Dean's site. Um, I think the only real word to use is, well, excellent. And it really, really was. I think it's my understanding that a few of the Party Dean resorts uh, were chosen to have some money invested into them and that one uh, was one of the lucky ones and it really has paid off. The facilities, the activities, everything on site was honestly unbelievable. All was brand new, it felt brand new anyway, it might have been there a few years but everything felt brand new. Um, you felt like you are going to a brand, brand new uh, holiday party which was really really good. I would definitely recommend going back and I've, I'm probably guessing that we may actually end up going back there because Scarborough, the surrounding areas is fantastic. There's plenty of beaches, plenty of walks. Um, and when the twins are a bit older, it's it'll be really, really good for a good family holiday. So coming up next for our little family adventures. Well, in three weeks time, me and Steph have got three days away. Uh, we will be videoing that. We've actually going to Thought Park, which we've never been before. And we're off to the Harry Potter studio. So we will be making a video of that. It will just be me and Steph. So it'll be a lot easier to make videos and be a lot more entertaining. Two days after that, we're actually going to the Haven Park, which is 15 minutes down the road from the Park Dean we've just got back from. Um, whilst we were there, we had a bit of a ride over, and even though I've been about eight years ago, it seems to have been updated and it looks really good. So we actually booked it the other week and we're going there in three weeks and more videos will be made then. So twins now, they're a lot more aware of the surroundings, so they, they like to watch a lot more. Um, a lot more interesting things going on so they are a lot calmer than they were so really i'm looking forward to making them videos now so if you want to see them make sure you hit that subscribe button like the videos and i will see you in the next ones mm -hmm.